Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikins from Big Mountain Studio, and today I'm in Goblin Valley National Park in Utah. As you can see, it's a beautiful place, and it looks like it's from a different planet, <laughs> but it's awesome here. And I just wanted to say thank you for watching my videos, and I hope you enjoy this next tutorial. Bye! Today we're going to dress up our Zelda application a little bit by adding a background, and I'm going to show you how you can see that background through your table view. So by default, applications have a view with just a white background, and that's what you see here. These are all default colors. The table view is white, the cells are white, and the background is white. So let's add a background to it. And the background I'm going to add is actually from the website, Zelda's website right here. And it has this kind of like this brown swirly background. And so that's what I'm going to add to our application. Okay, so first thing we want to do is add a image. And we'll just put it up here, make it the size of the window, there we go, and let's get it to stretch so it completely covers the window when it gets resized, or you use a different size, Im size device. Okay, so I had this background right here, I called it swirly background, because <laughs> it has all these little swirly images on it, and that's being stretched, so let's, let's make that aspect fill. There we go. Alright, this is great. So now what I'm going to do is move this background image to the back of the document outline. So the, fur the higher up on the document outline, the further back it is. Alright, and let's see, we can change this color to white, make it stick out more. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay doesn't look the best right now. It looks great up top, but it kind of contrasts with this white. So we're going to, what we want to do is be able to see the background through these cells and through the table view. So it's pretty simple. There's just two steps you really have to do. Click on the table view and, and remember all the controls that you see on the, on the storyboard here, they all inherit from UI view. So they all have these properties in common including background. And background, so what we're going to do, this is on the table view, we're going to change it to clear color. And you see it changed a little bit right here. Now we have to go to the cell. The cell also has a white background. So we want to change that to clear color as well. All right, now you can see that the background is coming through. And if I run the application, you can see, see it better. Okay, not bad. We're almost there. The text will have to change the color of that, and the images look like they're showing up okay. And another thing I want to change too is this separator. So let's do that. Okay, that's the title. If I hold down Command, I can select the, this other label down here, and then I can change both of them at the same time. There we go. Now another thing that we want to change too is that line, that separator line. We want to remove that. And you can remove it right here by going, clicking on the, your table view. It's the separator right here. And we just want none. But I want to show you something else too. Before we do that, let, let's go, let's look at the, those separator lines. I'll teach you something about these separator lines. Okay, now when you look at them, you notice that that it's kind of like cut off. Well, this is uh, an offset. This is a custom offset right here, 15 points. And sometimes you want that, you want this line and you want it to go all the way to the left edge. Well, here's how you do it. If you click on your table view and you see this separator inset, change it to custom. Now you see right here, it's 15. This is the default. I don't know why Apple does this. I don't think it really looks all that good. But this is where you can indent it even more, or you can even indent it from the right side as well. So for example, if we change this to 15 and we run the application again, you can see the effect that it has. Yeah, you see now that it's indented on the right side. So that's something that you can do, you can play around with to make your table views look better. You can also, if you have multiple prototype cells, maybe on some of your prototype cells, you want that separator line to have a different 
separator inset. So what you do is you just click on the cell itself and then you can override it here. So separator default insets, change it to custom insets and then you can change it to something else. So that, and that's if you have multiple prototype cells. So maybe you have one prototype cell where you want the line going all the way across and then every once in a while you show another prototype cell where you don't want the line or you want it to be a different size. So you can change it on the cell level as well. We're going up to the table view level and we're just going to say uh, no separator right here, none. Okay, and let's see what that looks like now. All right, perfect. This looks great. This is exactly what we want. All right, thanks guys. That's it for this video. I showed you how to add a background and then how to be able to see that background through your table view and through the cells. It's just two steps. You just want to change the table view background color to clear and the cell background color to clear. And then you can see the background through the cells. And then I also showed you a little bit about the separator lines and how you can adjust the indents or you can remove the indents altogether so the line goes all the way across the screen. All right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think that this information could be useful for them. And consider subscribing and I'll be coming out with more videos like this.